Hello and welcome to Negative Feedback. This week's video is a bit different from normal. I'm actually filming by myself on my iPhone. Louis is away filming some other things, so I thought I might as well try and make something else. I'm going to try and take you along to all the shoots I go to, try and show you some of the photographs I take this week, and just hopefully have some fun. So me and Dan have just got to Richmond because we are on a little journey to pick him up a new camera. I think he's quite excited. Not this camera, but another one. Dan, how do you feel after the big purchase? I feel like I really need a lens and a lens board and a tripod. Happy? Mission complete? So I just sat down and after getting back with Dan, just made myself a coffee. Which has some interesting latte art on it, um, but I have to say I'm still learning. Um, and I've just finished something rather exciting, which is the Kickstarter for the Negative Feedback Zine, which is pretty exciting. By the time this video goes up, this will be live, so please do go and have a look, read more about it, watch the video, and um, I think it's going to be really cool. I hope people get this going. So a lot of people might be thinking, why would you need to kickstart this? Uh, it's basically just an elaborate way of pre-ordering it. Um, the printing costs are pretty high of making something that's really good quality. So to make sure that it can be the best that it can be, I need to be able to back up the fact that people do actually want this and that it can be issued. So good morning, it is Monday now. Uh, I'm just about to drop some film off at Bayer and then I'm going to get the bus over to North London to meet someone about them teaching me how to use the darkroom to make some black and white prints. So Ruben's gone round. Um, We've just done a shoot for a musician, took him some press photos, and now we're going to have some food. And we just picked up a b-ball for some balling activity. So good morning. Today is a relatively interesting day. I'm going to go get my hair cut now, then I'm going to go pick up my pictures, drop off my new film, and meet up with Dan to take some more. So the barber's was closed, even though it should have been open for about half an hour already. Uh, so I around there for a bit. But now, I'm joined by Dan, who has another new camera. I'm not sure quite about that. Um, we're going to go drop some film off. So a few hours have passed, um, I've left Dan, went to get my hair cut, they were open in the end, it's a bit of a strange thing. This should have been open in the first place, who knows. I've just sat down to have some juice, which is very nice, very green, and the wee transfer for the film arrived. Which means that I'll probably spend the next hour or so going through my photos from the shoot yesterday, and seeing what I can do, and get all the images ready to give back to the guy. So I just um, looked up from the computer and I don't know how I missed this. This is pretty outrageous. So hello, it is Wednesday, 
at least I think it's Wednesday. Today I am tackling something that I've been waiting to do for quite a long time, and that is fixing the light meter on my Mamiya 7. So I've been having problems with this thing and actually reading the light. It constantly says that it's overexposed no matter what setting it's on. So I just got back from central London, um, been out shooting all day, testing out some new techniques and trying out some potential things for making episodes on. I've been shooting a lot of black and white film because I'm trying to get a new variety of negatives to print with when I'm learning with Melvin, who I met earlier on in the week, and I'm also just testing out a few new things. Just after I dropped off today's film at Bayer, I then went to visit Parallax in Brixton, which is where I buy all my film from. So went to see them, picked up some HP5 in 35mm, which I've been pushing to 1600 to do some street photography with, which is something that I haven't been doing, and been zone focusing, um, which is something new to me, so I'm really interested to see how they came out. decided that this is probably a good length of video for the kind of tester to see if this is something that you like, something that you'd watch or watch again or like to see more frequently. Um, so the one thing that I forgot to mention was that the Mamiya 7 fixing issue um, is going to cost £400 apparently, so I'm not going to do that yet. Um, going <laughs> to wait until I have a bit more money and just deal with not having a light meter for now. Um, so thank you for watching, please let me know, and also don't forget to go and check out the zine on Kickstarter because it's really cool.